Good morning and welcome to my dining room. This is the place where I have been spending most of my mornings this summer. I know a lot of you have been outside frolicking in the sweltering heat, but I have been spending most of my mornings here with my friend, my computer, my beautiful Mac. And the reason I've been doing that is because I am writing a book. Oh, I know this feels crazy to even say that out loud, but I embarked upon a journey thanks to my friend Leah Baez, who went through the same class, the same process last summer, or last year, sorry. She released her book last summer. It's called A Star for Stella, and if you have not read A Star for Stella, please do that. Leah is an Omaha author, and her story, her book is amazing, so grab that now. Um, but my... Um, trepidation and all of my worries about all of it were really sort of kicked out of the way um, after talking to Leah and deciding to go ahead and go through the similar program that she went through. Um, it's through New Degree Press and Eric Kester is the creator of this program. He is actually here from Omaha, Nebraska. So, you know, it's nice to have a conversation with a fellow Nebraskan it's been a ton of work. I've been working with an editor, writing in the mornings. I have a writing partner named Pam. She's down in Virginia, and I don't know what I would do without her. She's been so incredibly helpful. I put my phone down and just write for, and write with her as she's writing simultaneously down there, and there's something really amazing that happens when you write collectively with a group or with someone else, so that's been fantastic. And the goal, the whole goal, is to have this thing published next summer. So hopefully next summer we'll be having a really amazing launch party. All of you can be part of that. But most days this is where you'll find me in the morning, in my robe, my little blue willow here that matches all my, my dishes. I will be here in front of my computer trying to write the next great American masterpiece. <laughs> or just a really decent book that I need to get out of my system because I've been thinking about this for about 10 years. I've been writing it in my journal. I've been putting it on my vision board. I've been doing all of these things to make this thing happen and finally it is happening. So work in progress, my friends. It is a work in progress. So I will be sharing bits and pieces of things, how it's going, where we're at in the manuscript, um, right now we're in rough draft and I think you get green lighted that you're going to move forward to the next phase of potential publish. Um, when is that? September 12th, I believe is the date that I have to have all of this stuff in and they give you the thumbs up or thumbs down. So fingers crossed, thumbs up. Um, there is a lot of, um, a lot of pieces and parts that go into this that I had no idea about, like book marketing and editing and structural editors and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm learning all kinds of new things. So I wanted to take you along on the journey. And if anyone is thinking about writing a book, let me just inspire you to reach out, DM me. If you have questions about the program I'm going through um, and the process, just let me know. But go on this journey with me. It's going to be super fun and I can't wait to say, okay, so today I'm saying I can't wait to see this done. I'm sure there's going to be some rough patches through here, but today it feels really good. My energy is good. The writing is good. Life is good. So yeah, come along with me as I write my book. A couple of weeks ago, I went back to my hometown and spent some time with my parents. Their house is full of antiques and treasures and my dad made me go up above the garage into the garage attic it was so scary it was crazy check this out <laughs> yeah we're taking a little trip up into the attic i don't know if this is gonna be good or bad we'll see how this goes okay so far i feel a little wobbly He is bouncy. And this is the cord I gotta use to get light. Okay. Down to that. Okay. Alright, I'm heading. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, light's working. Okay, wow. 
There's some stuff up here. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, I remember that little green table. Okay, where are the um, golf clubs? Oh, oh I, I see. I think I see. Yeah, I think so. All of these old golf clubs are part of the loot that my dad sent home with us. This is one that he said he sanded off and buffed up. So pretty. Did all this during the winter one year. I also got something else really funny. Check this out. Does anyone know what this is? It's my grandmother's old hair dryer. Check this out. You guys remember these? Oh, this is so funny. Oh, look, there's even a little, there's a mirror in the lid. That's so funny. Yeah, this, we have the cap. I don't know if this thing works, but we're gonna plug it in and give it a, give it a shot. Okay, so Hold who on. knows? We gotta zoom out on this <laughs> thing. Cause I can't believe you have one of these. I know, it's the Grant made hair dryer and we're gonna see if this thing will work. Is it there, hasn't been on for years. Is there a date on that thing anywhere? No, it's old though. I mean, it's probably from the, the 60s maybe? Where did you get it? Um, my mom and dad shoved it in my car when I was there and I don't even know when they put it in there. But Because oh my God. we own an old house so they think that everything <gasps> that is old Oh my God. needs it's, to come here. It's still working, okay. It's basically we just a fan. We're gonna put the crusty hose in and see. Oh, you gotta put that on your head. <laughs> That's the only way you can know if it works. I know. It's got the like all these little vented holes so the air will blow in there to dry your curlers. So you're supposed to put your hair up in curlers. We do have curlers upstairs, okay. I found oh, in my I know drawer. We have curlers. Okay, we ready? You look like a Russian lady. I am positive that I have pink. Oh, it's in puffing my up. <laughs> Is it going? Oh, yeah, it's puffing it's up. Still it looks like you got a big old mushroom on your head. Oh my god. You look like a mushroom. It's hot. The... Like it's hot. Oh, so it heats up too, yes, huh? Yes, it's hot. It's oh, really so there's hot. hot or cold, huh? It's hot, look. It's really hot. <laughs> oh my god. See, that you girls like with long hair can use those. Solution. I'm sure it does. Woo! I cannot believe this thing. How many cups of coffee and cigarettes okay. have been smoked while that's been oh. worn? My grandmother would never allow that to have a cigarette smoke while you're getting your hair curled in her house. Oh, this was no, no, no. So this was in I got gotcha. okay, you. gotta try it. You gotta try it. No. Yes. No. Don't turn it on. <laughs> Don't put it over your face. <laughs> okay, I'm turning it on. Boom. Mm. I cannot see. Oh, don't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where it goes. Oh, wow, it does get hot. It is really hot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a terrible you idea. Wear, Take it like, off your head. <laughs> you know, like off your head, like you got a beret. It's the European. Or you're the elephant man. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Flip it back. You know what I could do is wear what? this and put my CPAP on, so I've got two hoses. <laughs> so you got CPAP <laughs> and your hair. Are you supposed to? Yeah, you just were supposed to sit still, watch that's TV, hot. read a book. It did, I know it really heats up. Let's this cool is your head down. Okay. So like in the summertime when you're all hot, you can just put this on, <laughs> put the cool mode on. Okay, you gotta that look says, up no, while you're talking. No, that's cold. Look up while you're talking. That's so cold. So face. on this <laughs> one, they made black cold, not blue, because, yeah, that makes that's sense. That's what happened back in the day. Is that supposed okay, to be? Okay, well, whatever company made this, hats off what? to you, because it still works perfectly. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you have to look up because all <laughs> the you elastic's a little bad. <laughs> the elastic. I thought it was made for really bigger hair. Well, it was made to put over your curlers and your updo because that was back when everybody did the updos. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay, don't. But I like. Look, it's got like a little thing, so I guess you could have, you know, oh, walked you around and <laughs> done some stuff with it. <laughs> did somebody else's hair while you're? <laughs> well, it's all on your neck. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, well, this was definitely worth its way. <laughs> you look like a mushroom right now. I know, it looks like you look like, it's like a thing out of Mario Brothers. Oh my god, oh, that's so funny. Wow, there's a big, bright, 
burning ember in there. Okay. I don't know why it's so damn hot. Okay. Okay. Good, then let's turn that off so we don't burn the house down. <laughs> All right. Well, that was just a really great little addition that it's mom and dad popped it to now. the car. No, it's not up to code. It's not up to code. It's so funny. There's so many fun treasures that I brought home. I love that my parents are trying to share all those things with me and I hope that you will take the time to go through some family heirlooms or some special things that maybe have been handed down or shared with you. And this week, do something very unapologetically fancy. Sit out on your porch, take in all of the sounds of nature, whether they're changing, they're noisy, they're good or bad. Get out a good bottle of wine, have a drink with a friend, call someone that you haven't talked to in a long time. Just do something that makes life feel a little more special because you know what? We're not guaranteed a tomorrow and you deserve the good stuff today. So stay well, take care and best wishes from the Mystical Magical Mansion.